Hi everyone, uh, it's Andrew here. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to try and do the second part of the jewellery video. I'm just going to zoom in as far as I can. I think this is going to be three because there's a great big tangled mess and some that's not. I've got my pot for crafting supplies and repurposed jewellery. I've got a box to somewhere yeah to put the stuff in once we've sorted it so let's get started so we've got this blue set of plastic beads this is actually broken it's got the catch on one side but nothing on the other side so they can be repurposed they're just on a string so i'm going to pop them in into my crafting supplies uh, then we got what have we got here we got this is quite a nice one it's just some faux pearls and some crystals. I don't know if it's going to focus. There you go. And it's like that all the way around. It's really nice. There's no catch. So there is no name on it. But it is, it's quite pretty. That's quite nice. We've got another one of these twisted strand necklaces. It's a modern one because it's got a lobster claw. No markings on it though that I can see. I'm just having a quick look. Now it just feels like cheap, but it's it's quite a gun metal colour. One of those collars. But it's not it's a bit broken here. I thought it wasn't, but uh, one of the strands has come off and the beads are falling off, so that can go into our repurposed lot. For repurposing. I, I it doesn't bother me because they're not that expensive. We've got this little necklace here. It's got again got a lobster claw clasp. It's got a pendant on it. If it'll focus. Oops, I dropped it. Gonna focus for me. Oh, there we go. It's quite nice. It's very cold. Might be glass. Um, so it can, it will sh slide up and down, and it's like chips. And there's some beads and some crystals. So it's modern. There's a la lobster claw clasp. No name on it, but I just need to. Oh, it sounds like the baby's waking up. Move the pendant down. That's better. So it's uh, a little bit better. There we are. So that's that one. That is quite pretty. Sort of pink coloured chips. We've got this very tiny little fine gold tone chain it's not real gold uh, with green beads again where's the clasp gone lobster claw clasp and it's not broken because it's got the little end piece on it the little teardrop bit I'm trying to show you and it's not working but there you go anyway and they're little green beads so it's quite pretty but it might be something for Jennifer to play with one day, but it does feel cold, but there's no markings on it and it's not. We've got one of these thong cord, leather cord things with, and it's just like that. I don't know if there should have been something in the middle or whether it's meant to be just like that. There is something writing on the back, though. I'm just a quick look, see what it says. I don't know if you can see it, but there is some writing on there. I don't think it's going to focus. Let's have a quick look. I can't see what it says. It's so tiny. Where is it? Oh, it's terrible when you're trying to look. You can't see. It's got a name on it, but I can't see what it is. Right, we need to go. I'm still not very good at using the sort of loop thing I've got. B U C H A N A N. Oh, Buchanan. So I don't know what that is, but yeah, it's just on a thong. I'll have a look, see if it very much that is worth anything. So it's just a gold tone, silver tone. It's got sort of like a thing you can push things through. Very bizarre. A thing you can push things through because that's actually a word. I 
taken that off. Now we've got a black bead chain necklace. Nice shiny black beads, big beads and little beads. No clasp, no name. It's hard to tell what it's on. I think it's just on like a string. That's quite nice. You can't see but it, you know, there's no way of telling. Focus, you little thing, where it's joined. So that's quite nice. Dress it up piece. This one. I'm not keen on this one. It's green. I think one of these beads came off. I think it's homemade looking at it because I can see a knot there. Um, I really, I'm just going to put that in a crafter's lot. Somebody might want those beads for something. I don't particularly like it. Uh, that's this one. What's next? Right, okay, so this one is some sort of like olive type coloured beads. They're cold, they're probably glass. Yeah, they feel glass. Um, on a small chain, again, there's no marks on it. There's no clasp, so there's nowhere to look for a name. It's, still, it's quite made, well made. Like I said, it's very cold. These are very cold, so that's that one. I'm trying to pick them up without making too much of a mess. Oh, this one's a uh, nice one. Again, it's a modern, it's on a lobster claw clasp. I don't think there's any, I'll just show you up for it first. So, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit to see if I can show you it better. There we are. So, that, like that. There, there you go. So, it's got a lobster claw clasp, but it's very cheap. It feels very cheap, but it is pretty. There is no markings on it. There are no markings on it, rather. But I do like the look of it because it's like white and clear crystals, or white beads and clear beads, and then some. And they get bigger as they get towards the drop. So there's that one. That's quite nice. Put that there. This one's cold. This one's long. And it's got some cool on it. Hang on. Let me just pull that out. Why are you cool on this one? Oh, I hate it when things get cool. I think this one's, one of them's broken. That's one. There we go. So this is just a very long chain. There's no clasp. It's just very long. Look how long this is. So you'd have to, right, but these little chips, the little pebbles are so cute. She somehow set her peppy off, but she's actually asleep. Um, I don't know if it's homemade. It's just on like string, but oh my gosh, it's so heavy. There is some weight to that. And then there's this one, which is broken, which is a shame because the beads are pretty. It's a very fine chain. But they are only plastic, I think. Um, so again, it's a very long chain. It would have been a multi-strand, but the strands have broken. So I'm going to pop that in my crafter's lot. So crafting. Uh, what's this one? Okay, this is quite nice. Again, they're just plastic beads. I can tell they're plastic because they feel plastic. It's got a pretty clasp. It's got one of these hook clasps. I'm trying to make sure I show you it, rather than we have it all the way up here and you won't be able to see the clasp. I don't know if you can see that, like that. Don't think there's anything written on it though. No, that's just blank. But it's it's intact and they're just little black beads. Nice little piece for dressing up. There's a black one on the end to see that it is intact. It's quite nice, but it's nothing nothing special. I like this kind of clasp. I don't, I'm one of those I really don't like the lobster claws. I just find them so difficult to use. So now we've got a little rhinestone necklace here. All the stones are on it, as far as I can tell. Yeah, there's no name. I don't think there's a name on it. I 
can't see anything anywhere. Okay. I can't see anything. Um, but all the rhinestones are on this. It's just a nice little rhinestone choker. It's pretty. I, I like things that sparkle, so that'll probably be going in my permanent collection. There's another one here as well, another rhinestone one. Can I get that one? Or is it buried? No, here it is. And again, it's very similar. It's a little bit smaller. So if you put them together, you can see that one's like that and one's like that. Uh, they both got these the older clasps, so it's not the lobster claw, it's the ring clasp. I don't know what you call it. But yeah, again, all the stones appear to be there. But there's no maker's mark or anything on the back that I can see. But yeah, it's just pretty. I think this is very Marilyn, very diamonds are a girl's best friend. Sort of thing she would have pulled out of the box when she was looking for the tiara. Now the plastic bead necklace with one of these hook clasps, which again I actually prefer. It's not complete, um, it's just got a hook at the end. Um, so it's just plastic. I'll probably put that in my crafter's bucket. They're nice beads, but they are just plastic ones, so that can go in the crafter's bucket. Next, again, this is again cheap plastic beading. But do you know what? These are good for dressing up, they're good for theatricals. So some of this I might donate to my local theatre, they're always looking for stuff. Or I can put it away for Jennifer when she's older for dressing up. Yeah, we've got a red plastic necklace here with barrel clasp. Again, I think this is very, this is kind of 1980s, but it's plastic and I can't get it undone anyway. Um, it's not something I would wear, but the beads are quite nice. It's quite old but it is just, just cheap plastic beads. So again, I'm gonna pop that into my crafter supplies and reuse the beads for something else. And what's this one? This is quite nice. This is purple beads and it's a multi-strand. So I'm just gonna to have to figure it out which way it goes because it's not obvious. Hang on, anyway, hang on, there we are. Uh -huh. An extra strand. I'm not sure how this works. So anyway, it's like this. So that it's beautiful coloured beads, and it's quite cold, so they're probably glass. It's got one of these catches. I have no idea how you get this out. Three strands. There it is. Right. So that's how it goes. So there's your clasp, and I do believe you press it and pull or something like that. I'll have to fiddle with it because I'm not very good with these old older clasps. Is there a mark on it? There's something there but it's very tiny. No, I can't I can't see any marks on it, just the pattern. But I just think the colour, I just put the torch on, is just beautiful. The beads of beautiful purple colour. And it is a multi three strand necklace. Very nice and intact, which is not always good. Uh, there's so much in here. Uh, next we have, what do we got? This is again, black beads. Black and white beads. These are on a chain. So it's chained together. There's no clasp, so there's no maker's mark anywhere. These are quite nice little like hexagonal barrel shaped beads they're definitely not plastic I don't think they're acrylic they might be glass that's quite nice nice little necklace again for I mean like I said some of this will go to the theatre or it'll go in a box for Jennifer if she wants to dress up later just turn that off oh here's another multi strand so here's this one this I like this one again it's modern it's got a lobster claw Let's see if I can untangle it. So it's sort of like it, it sort of hangs at three different lengths. And the, but the colours, beautiful colours. You've got little sea beads at the top and these bigger ones. It is just a lobster claw clasp with no markings that I can see on it. But look at that. Look at 
how beautiful it is. It, and it's nice and shiny too. The light's not brilliant in here and I'm not bringing down my main lights because my upstairs lights because they're just too heavy. And, but I think that is gorgeous. So that might be finding a place in my permanent jewellery collection because I like that. It might not though. You never know with me. Uh, what have we got next? More black beads. Uh, again, this one's a choker type thing. Are they heavy? They're glass. It's really nice, but I think it's missing a bit. Although it's hard to tell because it's not. There's not a hook on the end where the next bit should be, but there isn't actually a hook to hook this in. I don't think it would hook in. It's got the string bit, but I don't think it would hook in there. Too fiddly. You'd have to get somebody to do it up for you, I tell you. Ugh. Ooh, I can't do it. There is a pattern on the clasp, but I can't see a name. Um, and like I said, it's not obviously that it's broken because it is a complete hole and it has got an end. So whether or not it just goes through, I mean, it will go through one. But I don't think you would put that on. So I'll put that to one side. I do like it. I think the beads are lovely. And next. Oh, this is another chip beaded one with a pendant. And it's quite heavy. So it's just a purple sort of amethyst-y colour. It's a bit pink to be amethyst. But it's, it's a nice pendant. And it's got these chips and it's very cold so I'd say it's glass. Nothing would have been hanging off the end because it's a proper end but that's very nice that is really nice with the chips. Like I said no clasp so no maker's mark or anything but I like that. So that's heavy. You know you can tell the difference between the cheap plastic and the heavy stuff and that that is a quite a heavy piece there and there's nothing on it at all. I like that very much. I love the colour. Some nice bits. And I think this box cost me 10 quid. Again, I think these are glass beads because they're cold. They're very cold. It's freezing to the touch. And they're heavier. They're just blue. They all look black on this camera. Um, it's modern. It's got a lobster claw clasp. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see a mark. Just going to have a quick look with my little, no I can't see anything, doesn't mean to say it's not there but I can't see it, um, but yeah, that's quite nice, just a blue, just a blue choker, not broken which is always good, next this one is one of these sparkly beaded necklaces, as you can see, oh look how sparkly, and this has got one of those old link clasps as well. I love the clasp on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Oh. But it's such a pretty clasp. Again, I cannot see a mark on it. But these are very heavy beads. I think they might be acrylic. They're definitely, they, they don't feel like cheap plastic. But it's so nice. And I've got necklaces like that as well. Upstairs. And it might end up in the permanent collection. What else we got? Okay, what's next? Nope, oh, I'm caught on that one. Ooh, hang on. So we got some sort of gunmetal grey, what are they called? Mardi Gras beads. I call them dressing up beads. These will just go in a box for Jennifer. And then if she wants to dress up, she can dress up. Then we've got a long chain with a it's a very long chain I don't think it's got any it's got a big lobster clasp so I don't know if it's meant to be a belt I would have thought with a clasp that size let me just see if you can see it there that that's going to be a belt I don't think it'll go around my waist though my, oh, my. doesn't quite go around my waist but then I'm quite chunky but I would say that that is a gold tone belt. It's quite nice though. 
Not bad condition. Again, no marks on it, not that I can say. It's just a chain belt, but it is, it's too small for me. Next, more chips. This, oh gosh, they're all getting tangled up. Is this all one? This is all one. Let's get this right because it's a multi strand again necklace. As you can see, modern lobster cool class. I say that I think they came in in like 1993, so there would be some would be classed as vintage, but this is nice. This is a lovely colour and it just feels nice. And they're different, slightly different colours of orangey ambery beads, so yeah, I like that one. That's really nice. I do love jewellery. I am a bit of a magpie. I like anything that sparkles. We got some more of the dressing up beads, they call these ones, are sort of like a pinky colour style of pearl. Like I said, I'm just going to stick them in a box so when Jennifer's older and she can play with them. Oh, this is a nice colour. I don't know if this is intact though. Now this one, yeah, this is one of those ones. It's a long chain, but it's actually magnetic, the whole thing. So, there is no clasp on it. I think it's actually broken, but you could still wear it because it sticks together. I'm gonna actually just put this in, in the crafters lot because there's some nice beads on it, but these gray ones, there's some nice blue ones, but the gray ones are magnetic, so they stick to everything. So I could, you know, so anything that's magnetic, it's gonna stick to that. So I'll put that in the crafters lot because it, although I love the beads, and you could wear it because it's magnetic, so it's not going to come apart. It doesn't have a clasp. That's this uh, green one now. This isn't really nice colours. I think it's just plastic though. It feels plastic. But the colours are really nice. Again, there's no clasp on it. No maker's name or anything like that. Little beads in between, but it's quite a nice Again, it's more sort of thing that you wear dressing up or if you were doing something like that. It's nice though, that there. This one's quite nice. Uh, this is a green chipped necklace on a lobster clasp with a sort of pendant thing at the bottom. Like that, that's good enough for you to see. It's quite nice. It's only, it feels cheap. The metal around the edge feels really cheap. Around that. I'm just going to have a quick look. Can't see a maker's name on it or anything. But the chips feel, these green chips actually feel quite heavy. Like I said, it's modern because there's a, a lobster clasp on it. How you can tell the difference between the older lobster clasps and the newer ones, I don't know. But it's really pretty and the green chips are really nice. So, it's that one. A lot of chips necklaces. What else have we got? Oh, there's loads. Here's one. Now this is very, very, very tiny. It's a silver chain with black beads on it. Now is this the one? I'm just gonna have a quick look at it. I'm just having a quick look to see if there's any marks on the class because it doesn't see it. I can't see anything on this one. It's very nice. Reading necklace, just turn that light on. There's just so much in here, it's unreal. It is so much. Right, let's try and get something out. Right, just a few bits, let's grab these. So, this is just a purple sea bead necklace or beaded necklace. 
it's long there's no clasp on it it's just looks like it's a I don't want to say it's handmade because I can't see the knot normally if it's handmade you can see the knot on the chain it's hard to tell whether it's on a string or a chain the beads are really pretty tiny beads so again it can either go for repurposing or Jennifer's dress up box oh this one is horrendously horrible talk about a nasty statement piece I don't I don't like it somebody might like it out there it is a chain no clasp because it's really long and then on, on, it's got hearts on it so on one side you've got five hearts and then on this side you've got like these this big chain bit I, if it one didn't have a big chain I'd like it more I think because I quite like the little hearts the dangly hearts are quite nice and then you've got two dangly bits one is a chain dangly bit with a little heart on it and then you've got the round beads which are tarnished with a big heart on it and I'm just like oh and it's got tarnishing on it no name it looks like one of the cheap ones you would have got somewhere like Primark or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, Primark. No mark on it. I'm not surprised. It feels cheap. It's probably just metal. Where I put that magnetic one? Is that in here? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. So I, I don't know what to do with that because I really don't like that. I might leave it for Jennifer to play with when she's older. Well, this is quite nice. This is green. Uh, multi strand necklace with chips and green beads. It is a tiny lobster claw, so it's circa, you know, it's post 1993 ish, but it's got that vintage look with these bits. No name, it's just metal. You can tell it's not silver. I don't think there's a name on it anyway. No. see anything on there but it's quite a pretty one and a long extended chain at the back so but that's really pretty it's like these sea beautiful green beads multi strand necklace that's very nice yeah and there's a bit of a bit of a mess here that's the only problem with jewelry it gets very very messed up I'm keeping an eye on it because sometimes my camera will turn off one so this is a broken chain is it no it's not broken it's just tangled i'd say it's broken but anyway it's got one of those drop stones on it and i think there should have been something dropping off of that um it looks a bit naked these were very popular in the noughties these chunky ones i've got a couple of them upstairs from river island a new look so i wouldn't have thought it was anything special but the way that it is if you were to do it, it would be a bit lopsided is it just tangled up maybe it might be just tangled up so I'll have a look at that later but yeah they were quite popular a few years ago next we have this is quite nice it's got this beautiful almost amber looking glass beads it's hard to see I know Try and get. I don't know if the camera will focus on it there. It's quite, quite close. Take it back a bit. Ooh, doesn't want to focus. But yeah, I mean, it looks quite tarnished and old. And it's got these long straight pieces, and then it's got like a knot, gold knot. Then another long straight piece. Then the bead. Then a long straight piece. Then a knot. Then the bead. I'm going to have to have a very good look at that to see if there's a name on it anywhere because there's no clasp so it could be anywhere if there is but I quite like that I'd assume it would probably be on one of these long pieces but I can't see it but yeah I like that she's still asleep but the puppy's awake um, then we've got this 
chain here. Okay, the camera cut off then, so I'm not sure where we got to. So, did you do you remember the purple one of just beads? Well, I found two more of those. A green, green one, and a red one. Now these, these are very, very cold beads. So, I don't know. When you got three of them, it's quite nice. We're getting to the end of not the end of it there's loads more but uh, we're getting towards the end of the collection piece I've got here now this piece I've already looked at and when I picked it up I thought that is so fine with its little black beads I think it's this one I'm just having a quick look yeah I thought that feels like silver so I did have a quick look I think it is this one I can't see it now Maybe it wasn't this one. I think it was, you know. Anyway, just have a quick look at it. It won't be a sec. I don't know. I thought it was this one. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I imagined it. I think it was on the inside of the clasp, wasn't it? Oh, there it is, yeah. It does say on it, very, very, very tiny letters on part of the clasp, 925, so it's silver. Now, my dad said, I'm just going to double check it with his magnet one. Yeah. That in the UK, if it hasn't got a hallmark on it, but it's marked mark 925, although it's silver, because it's not got a British hallmark on it, you've got to actually stick that it's white metal. Now, I don't know if that's true now. It you certainly used to be the case. And I think there's another one of these in there, but it's beautiful. Just very delicate chain with these black sort of stones on it. I don't know if the stones are anything special. I would need to... I'm going back to the other one that looks identical now to see if it, says, if it is that one that was 95 as well. Because of where it was printed in the... Yeah, so this one here, which was just the plain back one, just the one strand beads, this one's got more, that's silver as well. So there were those two silver necklaces, both say 925. So I think we'll do uh, one more piece and then we'll call it a day because we are actually, uh, it's been going on for nearly 30 minutes. So next one is this uh, shell necklace feels like real doesn't feel like plastic to me you can tell the difference and there's got this pretty little flowery piece up here you can't really see that it's because of the way it's hanging so it should hang hang on like oh it's a bit tangled but it should hang like that where is it there is like that and it's got the two pieces so when you do it like that, it feels like plastic. Sounds like plastic, but when you touch it, it doesn't feel like plastic. So again, it's on a modern chain, lobster called claw clasp, with no markings at all. It's quite pretty, but I'm not really keen keen on these shell ones. They're okay. Little beads. It's intact. It's not broken. It's got these little bugle beads, which are the long ones. I know sometimes I'm up here, I'm trying to keep it down there, but I have to look at the camera to see it. Um, I don't know. So yeah, so today we, we got lucky, we found two pieces of silver. We have still got a fair bit to go. So, but I'm going to call that a day. We will do at least one more, hopefully not two, but there will be definitely one more video of costume jewellery soon. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I'll see you all soon. Bye.